Now we're in the arena. We want to work on this, on our spins and our shoulder control. All right. Now the first thing to understand or realize, you know, about these spins is, that is, is it isn't just a turn to the right, you know, or a turn to the left. There's more involved in that. And our biggest mistake is we focus so much on the outside and we push the horse to the right that we don't teach a horse to pick up his inside shoulder and step to the right. So our first control or our first idea of how to get to control is by we're going to use the hind quarter. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to ask the horse to go forward. As the horse is going forward, we're going to pick up one rein, and we're going to pick up this rein and pull his head around as far as I have to to make the hip move to the left. I'll release it and let him go. Again, and I'm going to alternate sides. I don't want to stay on one side. I want to alternate sides during this exercise. I'm going to move the hip over away and then let him go. All right. Again, what this is doing is it's, it's, it's going to take the horse. It's also going to start to soften his nose up, relax his neck, and give us control of his hindquarter. Now, his hindquarter is the engine. This is the engine back here, and it's what drives the forward motion through the front end. If I can't control the engine, or how much energy is coming through that front end, then I can't get the shoulders to go where I'm wanting them to go. So it's important that I'm able to control this energy. Now, if you picture a garden hose, this is a garden hose here, and we're turning the faucet on back here. And what we're trying to do is crimp the hose up here. Well, if I crimp that hose on some of these horses, and I don't have an, a strong enough hose here, then what happens, I start blowing leaks in that hose, and the shoulder starts jumping around, or the hip starts jumping around, and I lose control of my horse. These exercises are designed on how to build control, you know, and how to keep control of your horse. So, during this exercise, you know, the first part we got to work on is controlling the engine, the drive right here. So, what I'll do is, by picking up one rein, I'll just work on moving that hip to the left release it and let him go. I'll pick up this rein, work on moving this hip to the right. As it moves to the right, I'll release it and let him go. Again, when we, we talked about those motivators, the spot, the direction, and the reward. Now again, to break it down here, the motivator I'm using is this rein. The horse wants me out of his mouth. He doesn't want me pulling on his mouth. He wants me out of his mouth. So what he's looking for is that release. The spot I'm working with is a spot on this hip, just a quarter size spot. And what I'm doing is I'm taking that, that spot that direction, or this spot over here this direction. And that's all I'm focusing on. I don't care about anything else, you know, because I, I don't have enough control to control everything else. So all I want to do is control that spot and move it that direction. So as I'm doing this, and I'm having the horse move forward, when I pick up this rein and move that spot, I'm going to release it and let him go. So again, now the motivator was the rein, the spot was on the hip. The direction was away from it, and as soon as he did it, I let I released, I gave it back. That was my reward, my yes answer cue, a release of pressure.